up, dine, grow, and play in Utah. This campaign is all about introducing you to new things in our state. You can learn more on inutah.org and here on GTU, where Dina takes us into a fantasy world to meet a mermaid. Take a look. What did you want to be when you grew up? If you ask Allie, she will tell you she wanted to be a mermaid and she made that dream come true. <laughs> Allie, what is your mermaid name? My name is Mezzi. Well, Meziana, but I go by Mezzi for short. It's beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you. We're here at Sequest where she works. Now tell me how this all came to be. So it's actually a little silly. I've had my tail for about five years now, and I was going to get training for it to be a CNA. Weirdest thing, we had to tell fun fact about ourselves. I said I was a mermaid. I had my tail. The teacher thought it was hilarious and asked if I could come to a mermaid medical day. They put me in a Hoyer lift. We were going all around this little medical center. And it turns out the CNA instructor's friends were the current general managers of Sequest before it was built. So I was put in contact with them and reached out about having mermaids here. I am the original mermaid from our first Utah location. And actually, because of me, all of our several Sequest locations have mermaids in them. I love that. I'm making Thank those you. childhood dreams come true personified. I try. <laughs> So kids love you, and I like to think you're so. very entertaining, very talented. What do you What do you do? What do they get to experience with you when they come to meet you? Whenever they come to meet me, it's usually a little bit of magic, some music. Right now, with social distancing, it's a whole lot of mermaid dance parties. We have my ukulele. They all jam, show me their human moves. You'd be amazed what some of those little legs can do. I've seen splits. It's incredible. They love to show me all the great, jumping on one leg, that's very exciting. Oh, it's so cute. She's a trained vocalist. Her voice is beautiful. And she's got a little magic trick for me. OK, let's see it. What do you have? Now, this is just a little spell that I do for the children. Pick whatever shell you'd like. Ooh, these are all so beautiful. Ooh, miter shell, good okay. choice. Got it. Now what? Now, should we do a wishing spell or a good luck spell? Good luck. Good luck. All right, hold it in your hand like this. Rub, 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 rub. And go put it right to your heart. That will make the shell recognize it's you. Now, can I hold it? Good luck spell. <laughs> oh, seems like it's worked. Now, as long as you have it with you, it'll bring you good luck wherever you go. You need to be careful not to lose it, though, or else the magic will go away. I will hold on to this through the rest of 2020. That's a good deal. Make sure, make, make our year a little bit better. I just got the mermaid magic chill. <laughs> okay, now we're going to hop in the tank and see you in action. Let's I do can't it. wait. Okay, this is where it gets real, seeing you in the water moving just like a real mermaid. How did you learn how to do that? So I actually did monofin training in the Philippines. It was a fun little mermaid class. And I have done intro to free diving for my breath hold, as well as I have a few different scuba diving certifications. She does it all. She is so talented. And you have some bubble tricks that I we do. get to see. Let's take a look. It is so fun to watch. <laughs> and right before we started, a little girl and her family walked by and the way that she looks at you, the kids just love this. Uh, what little friends are in the tank with you? So I actually have several different kinds of stingrays as well as three different families with sharks. Oh my goodness. And you know them all by name. I know most of them. So I know our bat rays and our cow nose rays. It's amazing that you can tell them apart. And they're so comfortable with you. They love you. They've had me in here since they've been in this tank. So they're, they're pretty well adjusted. They will let me feed them as well. So they can crawl in all over me. So cute. Now, if you want to come and meet the beautiful mermaid here at Sequest in Layton Hills Mall, you can do that when? We, I'm only here right now, Saturdays, but from opening till five o'clock, swimming in the tank from three until five. And not only that, but you can hire her for birthday parties, what else? I've even done some weddings, some events like Comic-Con I've done, any big corporate events, anything really. I am I love to make magic wherever I go. Well, if you need a mermaid, who doesn't? Where can people find you? The best way to contact me is on my Instagram or Facebook, Mermaid Mezzi, M-E-Z-Z-I-E. -Z -Z -E. It was so fun to meet you today. Well, thank, you. thank you for hanging out and showing me all the ways of being a mermaid. Thank you, have a wonderful day. 
Oh, Dina, mermaids are magic. Thank you so much. Coming up next, hairstyles for men. Brian, we're talking to your stylist and mullets. Mullets. Ooh. Not my mullet, but other are guys' you sure? mullets. <laughs> well, that's debatable, right? Mm -hmm. And still ahead, we go back to the kitchen to make loaded oatmeal cookie bars. Then, fashion always has a way of repeating itself. Sure does. See what the younger generation are now calling yoga pants at the end of the show. Furnishings and set design for Good Things Utah provided by Gatehouse Number 1.